Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our WW2K18 Universe Mode. I am of course Dominic here on the Bad Wrestling Channel. And today, as you can see, we have a little bit of a, a little bit of a debut. So and if you have seen the draft, you might be very confused right now. The fashion police are not on SmackDown, you might be thinking. Why is they why are they on SmackDown? That doesn't make any sense. So What's happening for our universe mode, for superstars, and for all the tag teams and such, and whoever, uh, and the females, and, you know, whoever, is, so, let's say SmackDown has Triple H, because they do have Triple H, uh, they're the world, ch he's the world champion, obviously they have Triple H for SmackDown. Raw cannot get Triple H because SmackDown drafted Triple H. However, since the Fashion Police were never drafted anywhere, they were just kind of, you know, they're one of those people, they're one of those teams like anybody can use them. You know what I mean? That's why we can have legends if we want to sh if we want them to show up. We can have anybody show up. And that, it's just all around fun, which is going to be lovely. So yeah, this is SmackDown. We got Tyler Breeze and Fondango. They are the fashion police. They are going to go after the tag team champions in our tag team tournament on SmackDown. Let's see who they have as opponents. And that doesn't look very good for them, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the one, the only. If, if, if he shows up, if he shows up, you're making this. Paul Ellering, there we go. Didn't, didn't time that right. Whatever, anyways. Paul Ellering is going to be fighting Fashion Police. No, I'm kidding. Uh, there we go. There you can see him. So the Fashion Police want to be tag team champions. They're going to have to go through these two. In order to get even a shot at the titles. And even then, they would have to fight DIY. Because, if, in case you didn't see the last... Was it the last episode? Or was it the episode before? It was one of the previous SmackDown episodes. Um, the tag team title tournament's happening. DIY won that... Not not in a good way. They sort of cheated. But, moving on from that. Uh, so, this match is also for the tag team title tournament. And the winner of this match will be fighting DIY at Payback, which is the next pay-per-view, for the Tag Team Champions for our Universe Mode. And there you can see Paul Ellering commanding the Authors of Pain to enter the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Fashion Police, welcome to SmackDown, guys. You're going to have a big challenge ahead of you with these two. A Kamarazar of the Authors of Pain with... Paul Ellering, of course, watching over. And now, Akeem, oh, with a big uppercut there. And now look at this, already just destroying Fondango. You are not going to like this, Fondango. I can guarantee you that. That's now what's he got in mind here. Elbow to the face. And then the side of the head again, looking at Paul Ellering every time he does it. And a third one for good measure. So, yeah, Authors of Pain versus Fashion Police. Fashion Police, they want a shot at the Tag Team Champions. They're getting one, and um, you're not, you guys, you guys are gonna have a big, 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 big bad time. Big bad time indeed. That makes sense, Dominic. You, whatever. Anyways, I came going right after Fondango. Fondango hasn't even gotten a single hit in on Akeem there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, takes him down with a big shoulder tackle. Fondango is not looking good here. Wait, 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 Fondango! Oh, he reverses and slaps him in the nipple before, ni before taking him down as one half of the fashion police. And now, I came going after... Oh, Tyler Breeze, but Tyler Breeze, big elbow. Some, they're, they're fighting back against the Authors of Pain. I thought this would be a squash match, to be honest with you. I mean, we're already almost four minutes into the episode. Or about four minutes, I should say. I thought they would be over by now. So, oh, takes him down with a big clothesline. And there you can see Paul Ellerin cheering on his... His disciples. His disciples? Was that it? Are they disciples? I, I don't know. Whatever. Bam! Takes them down with the... That was a very loud bam. I'm sorry, dude. That was that was as loud as DDP's bams, okay? That was as loud as the DDP bams. Okay? Now look at this. Takes them down. What's he got in mind? One half of the fashion files. Beautiful looking neck breaker there by Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze, he's doing pretty good here against... Akeem here, one half of the Authors of Pain, looking pretty good, dragging him over, what's he got in mind, not too sure, it's not, oh, elbow to the stomach, throws him into his corner, that is exactly not the place Tyler Breeze wants to be in, 
There's now these two monsters, these two behemoths. Now look at this. Oh, oh, taking turns. Tyler Breeze can't even protect himself with these knees. Oh, God. Tyler Breeze, multiple knees to the stomach. Okay, you could call him Tyler Knees. I'm sorry. That was that was terrible. Whatever. Tyler Breeze tagging in Fondango here. Fondango here. Yes, Fondango here. Fondango, though, is a little bit more hurt than Tyler Breeze. But, you know, since... Razar is on the ground. He has some momentum going into this. Going after a big punch in the face. Razar does not even look phased by that punch in the face. He's got a big punch in the stomach there. He's now, oh, takes him down with a big clothesline. Takes him down. Now, oh, taking down Tyler Breeze, though. Razar, of course, one half of the others of pain with. Is this his brother? Is that his brother? I don't know. One of the disciples of. Oh, look at that beautiful maneuver. Fondango. And Tyler Breeze seem to be doing pretty good in this matchup. Way better than I thought they would, by the way. I thought this, again, like I said, I thought this would be over by now. But no, Tyler Breeze and Fondango, the Fashion Files, the Fashion Police. Is that, is that their names? The Fashion Police. I don't know, Breezango, whatever you want to call them. Okay, doing pretty good here in this two-on-two -two tag team matchup against Razar and Akeem. Is it Akeem? Or is it Akam? Is it whatever? I'm not too sure. Now look at this. Beautiful DDT by Tyler Breeze. One half of Breezango, of course. Akeem wants to make the tag. He's trying to reach out. I don't think Razar knows exactly where he is for some... Somehow, Razar doesn't know exactly where he is. I do believe Paul Ellering might be screaming at him to go over to his side of the ring. As now go leaving the ring just to make it to Akeem here, ladies and gentlemen. Not too sure he has a mind. Oh, big boot <laughs> taking him down. Just like, yeah... I'm the dangerous one. <laughs> That's not what's he got in mind. Not too sure. Picking up Tyler Breeze. That's now... Ooh, brutal. Brutal power bomb right there into the ropes. Throws him. Picks him up. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Oh, Tyler Breeze, though, quickly punching him in the face, throwing him to the outside. Tyler Breeze using some quickness here against one half of the Authors of Pain. The count of one there. There you can see Spanish announce table. Because that's why I call that, because I'm over here. and See, they're not, they're not the announcers, so they're the Spanish announcers. You guys get it. What is that? Oh! That was awesome! Tyler Breeze, ladies and gentlemen, showing what's up, ladies and gentlemen. Now look at this. Oh, turn into a German. Tyler Breeze reverses it! Tyler Breeze doing amazing in this match. That's now... He isn't done here. It looks like Razar is not done here. Look at this. Going for another German. And again, he reverses it. And now, oh, big, big boot style maneuver there to Tyler Breeze. Throwing him into the ring at the count of eight. Akeem now, ladies and gentlemen, knows exactly what to do. He's going after Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze has been doing great in this matchup. Big Russian leg sweep. Taking down Tyler. And I think it might signal the beginning of the end. With that Russian leg sweep now. The Authors of Pain setting it up. The last chapter. And oh, Tyler Breeze, he was doing good. But that might be the last chapter of their of, of their 2K careers. It's now one. No, only a one count because of, Ty of Fondango. Fondango breaking it up there, ladies and gentlemen. And now, oh, punch in the face. Punches him in the face again. Razor on Razor beating down everybody you can see. Akeem on the outside. Tyler Breeze getting picked up. As now Powerbomb once again on Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze just did amazing earlier. What the heck? Is that what's he got in mind? Not what's he got in mind? Punches him in the face. Oh, the unprettier it looks like connects there. The unprettier, that's a Christian maneuver, but who cares? One, two, no, only a two count. They're getting a two count, though, on one half of the pot of the Pothers of Ain. Yes, the Authors of Pain. Okay, that's no small feat. That's now... Oh, huge, brutal clothesline by Razar. And now, looks to be setting it up. What's this? What's he got in mind? Not too sure. Went to go for a finisher, it looks like. Went to go for it. And no way. Tyler Breeze, what is this? What's he got in mind? Another neck breaker connects there. Loving it, loving it. Tyler Breeze doing freaking good in this matchup. 
weirdly doing, like, he's doing worse health-wise, but, like, with the reversals and such, he's doing, he's doing all right. He is doing all right. He's now, what's this, what's he got in mind? Not too sure. He's got him here. Tyler Breeze. Akeem's got Tyler Breeze now. I'm not too sure what he's doing. He's holding him so that he doesn't attack his friend anymore, his partner anymore, his brother. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't watch NXT. I just know of these guys. The office of pain because Bobby Roode decided to, 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 whoa, he just kind of leaned back a little bit. Okay. That was a little weird. That was a little weird. Okay. He was going, he was going a bit Michael Jackson doing the weird leans here in this matchup, but okay. Not the time I would think, but I, you, what do I know? I'm not a professional wrestler. I don't know this stuff. Razor, oh, look at this. Paul Ellering. Paul Ellering, look at this. It's now, he doesn't even realize German suplex. And again, Tyler Breeze reverses a German. Tyler Breeze reversing the German suplex. Going after him. Going for the cover here. One. Two. Three. Wait. Wait, wait. Breeze on go. Wait, I couldn't kick out of that. I mean, he couldn't kick out of that. What? The mini game like froze up. Brizongo just beat a Cayman Razor. What? That just happened, right? That just Tyler. Um. Well, Tyler Breeze and Fondango they look to be sticking around. I look at this. They're going after the tag team champions. They're gonna. Oh my god. What? I'm flabbergasted. I don't know what just happened. I went to go kick out and the mini game just like froze up and I couldn't kick out of anything. Tyler Breeze and Fondango. They could be our next tag team champions. Oh my. I mean, they have to go through DIY, of course, and they're not afraid to cheat, as we saw, you know, with them against Sheamus and Cesaro. But. Neither are these two as we are established. The fashion police are not against cheating. I <laughs> I would normally call the fashion police for that kind of for that kind of misconduct with the pinfall, but they just won the match with it. Okay. Fashion police versus DIY. Who's gonna become our first tag team champions in our universe mode? We're gonna find that out on payback as we have the next match to get into. <laughs> what the Okay, let's go with it. Next match. Anyways, after that controversial, uh, I guess you could say, ending there, we get into our main event. Apollo Crews, current Intercontinental Champion. Okay, last week, defeating, uh, who was it? He defeated, like, Undertaker, Kevin Owens, and, uh, a, a third, I, I don't sound very professional, do I? Because I don't forget who the third person is. I mean, I totally do. You don't hear me scrolling. And Rusev! Oh, I didn't remember Rusev. Oh, I mean, I totally remembered Rusev. I was just building him up for dramatic effect. Because Rusev is a big star. Anyways, Apollo Crews winning the Intercontinental Championship last week. He has a big, big challenge. Making his debut here in our universe mode. I believe somebody... Everybody has been waiting for since he's been drafted to SmackDown by the glorious one Bobby Roode Apollo Crews he's gonna go one on one With one of the best performers in the history of WWE The Olympic gold medalist he won it with a broken freaking neck That's it Kurt Angle ladies and gentlemen. That's the man off of uh, 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 Apollo Crews. I don't know why I had such a hard time saying that. I was like, ah, uh, I think I choked up. Apollo Crews, the current Intercontinental Champion, is going to go one-on-one -on -one against Kurt Angle in this main event matchup. This, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be a good one. The wrestling machine of, uh, uh, not Apollo Crews, Kurt Angle. Okay, Apollo Crews, he reminds me of Kurt Angle back in the day. Okay, just all around well gifted performer and I believe that's why Bobby Roode decided to put these two in a one on one competition as a as Kurt Angle hits Apollo Crews first away look at this already trying to make the kid tap out we all know about Kurt Angle and how he he's good at submissions I don't know he has a submission for a finisher why not Kurt Angle going right after the current intercontinental champion not 
letting him do anything with a big headbutt. And again and again for good measure. Punch in the face and then a headbutt combination. Apollo Cruz, ladies and gentlemen, though, throwing him to the outside. And now current Intercontinental Champion. Look at this. Oh, kicked right in the gut. Reversing Kurt Angle there. Going with a bridge there. Beautifully executed by our current Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, Kurt Angle. So, you know, I'm surprised he hasn't made his debut earlier. I just I just didn't get the code, to be honest. We pre-ordered it from GameStop, and I just never put the code in because I had to log into my mom's email address and stuff, in, in, into the email address and, and such. Whatever. Kurt Angle throws him into the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Apollo Crews looking pretty good. Count is seven. Is now, oh, wants to go for a punch in the face, and then again with a big uppercut. Apollo Crews. Kurt Angle, look at this. He is feeling it here tonight. Angle now. Going the belly to belly connects there on Apollo Cruz. What a matchup we are going to be witnessing here tonight, as we are witnessing, I should say. Apollo Cruz and Kurt Angle. Imagine that matchup in real life, though. Imagine that amazing, technical, um, just beautiful matchup we could witness if Apollo Cruz was any good. But you know what? That's my. That's one of my goals. That's one of Bobby Roode's goals as well in this universe mode. Make Apollo Cruz great again. Okay. Darren Young, here we go. <laughs> Darren Young, your gimmick is going to be stolen by Apollo stolen by Apollo Crews in this matchup. Now look at this. Proven why he is a pretty good show. Wait, what is this? Kurt Angle. Oh, kick right in the gut there for good measure. Kurt Angle not looking pretty good here against our current Intercontinental Champion. Oh, the big Instaguri. Beautiful there. Apollo Crews, look at this. Feeling mighty confident in himself. And self-confidence is a thing you're going to need in this business of, of SmackDown. Of, <laughs> SmackDown is an entire business. Why not look at this? Kurt Angle. Oh! German suplex by Apollo Crews. That was directed right at Kurt Angle. Showing a little bit of disrespect potentially. Now look at this. Picking him up as as tall as he can. I'm not too sure. Tall as he can? No, he's picking him up. And now Apollo Crews connects there with the moonsault. Kurt Angle now looking good. One, two... No, two and seven ace. That was about to be it. That was about to be a little bit of a squash match there to Kurt Angle. Apollo Cruz, though, look at this. Throwing him into the corner. Kurt Angle now looking really good here. Picking him up. Going for a superplex potentially. That's what it looks like he's got in mind here. Apollo Cruz has Kurt Angle right where he wants him. Kurt Angle, you're not going to like this. Going for a superplex. No. Kurt Angle taking him down. Throws him off. Apollo Crews, ladies and gentlemen, you're not going to like this. Oh, with a big elbow drop to the youngster, to the young kid here on Friday Night SmackDown, the current Intercontinental Champion, ladies and gentlemen. Apollo Crews, oh, with a big clothesline, and the straps are off. <laughs> Apollo Crews, what a story we are looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, between these two, these two athletes. It's now belly to belly for good measure. Kurt Angle, he's feeling it here tonight. The straps are down. You know what's coming next here. Germans potentially. Ooh, right in the corner. Right on the top of the ropes. They're right in the corner. That must have been painful to Apollo Crews. And now, oh, once again into the ropes. His head just sliding against them. That did not look good here. Is now Kurt Angle throwing Apollo Crews into the corner. Apollo Crews though reverses it. What's he got in mind here? Going for a big splash. Connects there on Kurt Angle going for the cover. No, not even a one count there. I was, I was, I was quiet because I was, I wasn't focusing on anything. I was just shocked that Apollo Crews already back into this matchup potentially. Okay, this has been pretty even thus far. Now, oh, Tope Congairo, is that what it's called? That's what I think that's what it's called. That's now Kurt Angle now looking good here, not looking good in this matchup thus far. Apollo Crews though, ooh, neck first into the top rope, Crews. Has Kurt Angle where he wants him. Takes him down. Let's now look at this. He's wrenching the neck of Kurt Angle. But Kurt Angle doesn't look like he likes it too much. Punches him in the gut. And now... Oh! Punch in the face. See, Kurt Angle just brutal punch in the face. To Apollo Crews there, ladies and gentlemen. Crews not looking too good here in this matchup. Not too sure he has in mind. Elbows him in the face, though. Look at this. Going for a big power bomb, it looks like. Connects. And he doesn't look like he's done here. Going for a second one. Apollo Crews showing strength in this matchup. Triple 
power bombs then oh beautiful maneuver there by Apollo Cruz standing shooting star press has Kurt Angle right where he wants him oh and a big drop kick Apollo Cruz current Inter intercontinental champion proving why he won that championship last week and why he believes he deserves it going for a suplex connects there Kurt Angle not looking good we all know he's had some back issues Kurt Angle's now look at this picking him up it looks like he's about to connect here going for it and now oh takes him down Angle oh with a big moonsault by Apollo Cruz one two and Kurt Angle kicking out at, at two and seven eights Apollo Cruz cannot believe it he looks frustrated as hell. <laughs> he is so mad. He's like, why can't I do this? Apollo Cruz, though, current Intercontinental Champion, trying everything he can in this matchup. Okay, what's he got in mind? Picking him up onto the top again. What's he got in mind? Not too sure. Punches him in the back. And now, oh, God. Oh, my God. Top rope. German suplex connecting there. Kurt Angle is not looking good here in his first ever matchup on Friday Night SmackDown. Apollo Crews, though, he's getting picked up by Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, he's watching them. Oh, with a big clothesline. Angle, he's trying to come back here. He's feeling it in this match with Apollo Crews. The young stud has been basically having an answer for every move he's had. It's now belly to belly. Connects there. Apollo Crews, now looking good. Kurt Angle, he means business. Now the straps have been down for a while. I think this is when the straps should really be down as Apollo Crews. Not looking good. Punch in the face for good measure. Uppercut into a beautiful punch in the face. Brutal. Not beautiful. Brutal punch in the face. As now Apollo Cruz getting picked up by Kurt Angle. Headbutt for good measure. Punch in the face. Okay. Just punched in the face all throughout this matchup. Kurt Angle, he is brawling here tonight. And now, ooh, right again in the chin area with a knee to the chin area. Apollo Cruz, you're not gonna like what comes after. Kurt Angle, he's setting him up. German suplex connects, holding on. And a second one to Apollo Cruz. Apollo Cruz, the young stud, he's like, he's like, I think he's regretting not being able to get the pin earlier on in this matchup. It's Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle, he's looking at him. He might have a shot here. No, went to go punch him in the face again, probably to turn him around and do the angle slam. As now. Look at this. Oh, my God. What is this? Showing the strength. Apollo Crews, such an amazing athlete, such an amazing specimen here on the Friday Night SmackDown roster. Beautiful suplex. And Kurt Angle has to roll out of the ring from that suplex. Okay, probably a smart maneuver by Kurt Angle. And now Crews, he's setting up Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews. I don't know why I said it like that. Apollo Crews. What is this? What's going on here? Kurt Angle punches him in the face. Oh, I don't know where. Angle slam out of nowhere, going for the cover. One, two, three. Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen, defeating the current Intercontinental Champion in Apollo Crews, showing why he deserves to be on the Friday Night SmackDown roster. Apollo Crews, though, he did pretty good in this matchup, I will admit. Apollo Crews, really strong showing, but Kurt Angle just, just was too much for him. Okay, one angle slam, and that was it, but of course. There was a lot more than that. Multiple German suplexes. Okay, just a dozens of German suplexes by Kurt Angle. And now, wait, what is this? Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, look at this, punches him in the face. Apollo Crews, though, rolling to the outside. Kurt Angle, he reverses him here. I don't know why he put the straps back on, but he, but he did. I don't know why you did that, but okay. Kurt Angle, though, look at this. Fighting back against Kevin Owens. Punch in the face for good measure. He's staring at Kevin Owens. And now Kevin Owens with an elbow. And a super kick there out of nowhere. The referee trying to call it off. Kevin Owens, what's he got in mind? Throwing Kurt Angle right where he wants him. Kevin Owens attacking Kurt Angle. Now look at this German suplex by Kevin. Kevin Owens, what is he doing? I mean, I guess he thinks he's the face of America. Uh, Kurt Angle's probably the most American person on the roster. I guess he might just take that as a personal attack. I'm not too sure. As now look at this. Oh my god. Oh, brutal DDT. Busting Kurt Angle wide open. And Kurt Angle, ladies and gentlemen. Not looking good here. Kurt Angle, you don't want to get up. Kevin Owens. The wrath of Owens has started here in our universe. Moment. Oh, brutal pop-up powerbomb. 
Wait, I don't even know what just happened, ladies and gentlemen. We just had a beautiful matchup, an amazing matchup against Kurt Angle and Apollo Crews. And now Kevin Owens just comes out and attacks Kurt Angle. For no reason, I guess. But that will have to be the end of this episode here on our WWE 2K18 Universe Mode, Episode 6. Kevin Owens, not too sure why he did that, but you know, whatever. We had some weird stuff going on in this mat in, in, in this episode. Fashion Police thing. Still kind of annoyed by that, but whatever. Fashion Police versus DIY uh, Payback. I'm not too sure. Whatever. Kevin Owens, though, setting a message against Kurt Angle, I guess. I'm not too sure. But that's going to have to be the end of this episode here on our W2K18 Universe Mode, Episode 6. If you guys like it, please let me know by hitting the like button down below. Comment anything you want to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, why not hit the bell to be notified of everything we do here on the Bad Wrestling channel. I am, of course, Dominic, and have a good day from Bad Wrestling. Oh boy! Yo!